Magic is power. It has the capacity to create and destroy, manipulate and transform. It can shatter the very laws that govern each world. The infinite planes of the multiverse are home to countless mages. Yet for all their mastery over their craft, they are each bound to their own planes of reality, blind to the true vastness of the multiverse. But some mages are born with a potential for more. The spark, this gift realized only upon facing a great ordeal, once ignited, it allows the mage to travel between planes and draw from each plane's magic to reach heights of power otherwise impossible to achieve. They can begin their journey as a planeswalker. Hello everyone, this is Anza, back with another episode of Magic Jewels. This time, we'll be trying again to take up, to defeat the last part of Chandra's story. So let's get into it. Wait, is that his hand that's like a axe? I think so. That's odd. Um, let's see. Sure, why not? Okay, let's play the young pyromancer. This thing, uh, hexproof, can't be blocked. One one. I've seen it before. Let's yeah, play this. Um. Yeah. We'll wait to see if he blocks or not. He's not blocking, so we will do that, and now it'll do two damage instead of one. 18 to 20. Such a massively large deficit that he has. Another one, okay. Not that bad. Steel wall. Zero four, defender. Okay. Um okay. Hmm. Yeah, three two haste and renowned. That's a really good card. Let's see how he blocks things. Okay. Oh wait, yeah, Renown won't do won't activate yet because I have to attack the player. So we have four mana, can deal two damage to the wall. We could kill the wall. That is definitely a... Oh, God. He has that. And we do not want to uh, be hit by that. Ooh. Okay. We will put the 
this on this thing here. We will type up this and this. Nope. Ah, damn. I was trying to... Stupid controller. Damn it. Oh, and of course now this thing can't do anything. Yeah, we'll block that. Ooh, yes. Ah, I wish I saved that card for our flying guy. Or not. Okay. He's like demobilizing our entire deck. Let's do this, just since, oh well, at least it's kind enough to give it back to us. We'll have to wait for him to not have any mana before we try that again. Like that. Okay, down to 12. But we can do this. Four damage, so he can be down to six. Wait, why did this thing die? Oh, okay. Whenever an opponent is dealt damage by a red instant or sorcery... Ooh, uh... Three damage. Let's see, this is... This can be four... Um, two or more, yeah. This here. Let's try that again. And we got our Phoenix back. Okay, that thing needs to die and fast. So, five, but that's everything. See that, and I could do four. Or, or, if I do one, two, three, yeah, I'm going to do this. He's down to one health. There is no way he can kill us in one turn. Okay. 
we're going to do one. Oh, wait, to target creature. So I can play this twice if need be. Perfect. We have just enough to play this. And since that's tapped, we can attack and take him out. Yes. Only second try. I think that's pretty good. Okay. Okay, that was hard. Whatever. And I was right about the uh, blade arms. The threat of death at the hands of Captain Bar Barrel causes your planeswalker spark to ignite in a burst of flame. You leave called Desh behind, your blazing rival on the plane of Regatha, attracts the attention of the fire monks from the Carol Keep Monastery. They take you in, and it is there. That you are, that your pre pyromantic training begins. Okay, so that's it for Chandra's story. Next time we'll be starting Nissa's. See you guys then.